Today, I will introduce to you the IPSG function. IPSG refers to IP Source Guard. It prevents malicious hosts from using the IP address of an authorized host to access or attack a network. IPSG matches the packets from hosts against a configured binding table and discards the packets from unauthorized hosts to protect the network. The following figure illustrates the IPSG working mechanism. The switch forwards the packets from authorized hosts. When a malicious host uses the IP address of an authorized host to send a packet, the switch detects the packet information does not match entries in the binding table. So the switch discards this packet. This is a binding table. A binding table contains multiple entries, which record the binding relationships between source IP addresses, source MAC addresses, VLAN IDs, and inbound interfaces. Binding tables are classified into static binding tables and DHCP snooping binding tables. A static binding table is manually configured by running the user bind command. The static binding table is applicable to a local area network where a small number of hosts reside and the hosts use static IP addresses. A DHCP snooping binding table is dynamically generated by the switch. When DHCP clients request IP addresses from the DHCP server, the switch with the DHCP snooping function configured generates DHCP snooping binding entries according to the DHCP reply packets returned by the DHCP server. The DHCP snooping binding table is applicable to the local area network where a large number of hosts reside and the hosts obtain IP addresses through the DHCP. Next, let's see an example for configuring a static binding table. As shown in the figure, host 1 with IP address 10.0.0.1 belongs to an R&D engineer and host 2 with IP address 10.0.0.11 belongs to a human resource employee. An ACL rule is configured on the switch to allow only human resource employees to access the internet. The R&D engineer is not allowed to change the host's IP address to 10.0.0.11 to access the internet when the human resource employee powers off her own host. The configuration roadmap is as follows. Configure a static binding table on the switch and then enable IPSG on the switch's interface connected to hosts. Next, let's see the configuration procedure. Enter the system view. Create a static binding entry in which the IP address is 10.0.0.1 and MAC address is 111. This entry corresponds to the host used by the R&D engineer. Create a static binding entry in which the IP address is 10.0.0.11 and MAC address 222. This entry corresponds to the host used by the human resource employee. Enter the GE001 interface view, enable IPSG on the interface, and quit. Enter the GE002 to interface view, enable IPSG on the interface, and quit. Now, let's look at an example on how to configure a DHCP snooping binding table. As shown in the figure, all hosts in an enterprise obtain IP addresses through DHCP. Employees can only use the IP addresses allocated by the DHCP server to access the network but cannot change their IP addresses into statistically configured ones. To achieve this goal, we need to configure IPSG. 
the configuration roadmap is as follows. Configure DHCP snooping on switch 1 so that switch 1 can generate DHCP snooping binding entries. Enable IPSG in the VLAN of switch 1 connected to an employee's host. The DHCP related configurations are not provided here. Now let's see the operations procedure. Enter the system view and enable DHCP and DHCP snooping globally. Enter the VLAN 10 view, enable DHCP snooping in the VLAN, configure GEO03 connected to the DHCP server as a trusted interface, enable IPSG in the VLAN, and quit. Now let's configure a static binding table. Enter the system view. Configure a static binding entry for the R&D engineer and a static binding entry for the human resource employee. Enter the GE001 interface view. Enable IPSG on the interface and quit. Enter the GE002 interface view. Enable IPSG on the interface and quit. Run the display command to check configured static binding entries. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. Where do you find these threads? Using Google search, type in all about switches site colon Huawei.com in the search field and click any of the displayed links to enter the Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the homepage. The All About Switches threads describes typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for listening, and goodbye.